All right, Sharp, we're looking at Kickstarter, and this is Penitent. This one kicks off with a dude wearing a barbed wire drill helmet. So you can't really go much wrong with that from the creators of The Last Door, which is a game I recognize, so that's something. Already, they're going quite well with this. It's all pixely and side-scrolly. Do you remember when I used to cover a lot of those on Greenlight? Well, I'm doing it with Kickstarter here now. But to be fair, fucking look at it. It's a dude with a big old drill hat and a sword and he's just hacking this fella up. Look at that, he doesn't care. His head come off there. Jumping around, shooting bell ghosts and avoiding some classic spikes here. More bell ghosts. I like it. I like the music as well. Got a nice sort of macabre rock vibe to it. Reminds me of uh, 28 Days Later, the way that the iconic, real iconic, not Ubisoft iconic tune in 28 Days Later built to something. Oh, but then it goes a bit dark, Soulsy, because you can hear all the... I realise comparing everything to Dark Souls is something of a dead horse now, but oh my word, look at him stab that. Oh, and he grinds the sword. What a... <gasps> Blindfold baby tore the man up. Oh yeah, and you're going to need tree Satan. All right, well... I called it the Penitent, didn't I? That's the name of the hero. The game's called Blasphemous, Jim, you fucking idiot. Trader's still going. It's fading out now. Now it's done. Let's have a poke around the page. Okay, we're gonna poke around the page now. That's a new thing that we're doing, because alliteration in it. So what is Blasphemous? According to the headline here, it's a dark and brutal 2D non-linear platformer. How exciting. Vanquish bloodthirsty creatures, the devotees of a twisted religion, handcrafted pixel art action game by the makers of The Last Door. That'll be the game kitchen that you see there at the top left corner. Now we're not going to do this for every game featured here. Uh, I wanted something big and impressive to kick us off, if indeed this becomes a series and isn't just a waste of everyone's time and is a load of bollocks. Uh, but what I'd like to do is with Greenlight Good Stuff now on the shelf because Greenlight's gone, I still want to try and shine a torch on promising looking new games and Kickstarter is obviously a good place to do that. So from henceforth, uh, I will be attempting to browse through Kickstarter looking for good things and this game gave me the idea to do that. Uh, in future, we won't do things that have $50,000 goals and have already made $221,000. I'd say that's pretty clear, but uh, we are gonna poke around this page just to, just cause, as I said, this one was the inspiration, so I feel like I should feature this first, and then we'll look at ones that uh, could benefit more from a potential leg up, if indeed this works out well. So. Gonna look through the page together. That's what we're gonna do. Go down here about this project. PayPal. You can do PayPal if you want. Uh, here are some flags if you like countries. Add-ons. Uh, so this is all stuff you can get as extras if you want. If you want to just give them some more money. Game key, t-shirt, poster, art book. Uh, let's skip all this for now and just look at the game. Blasphemous is an action platformer that combines the fast-paced skilled combat of a hack-and-slash game with a deep and evocative narrative core. Okay? Okay. Delivered through exploration of a huge universe comprised of non-linear levels. Immerse yourself in a dark fantasy nightmare that has been constructed pixel by pixel by our committed artists. It's good that we do this in real time now because there's a lot of GIFs and GIFs are nice to look at. See a GIF here? Got that stabby coming up and jumping over a guy and slashing. Looks very nice. Um, reminds me of um, 
It clearly doesn't remind me of it because I forgot the name. Slain. There we are. Uh, you remember Slain? That game that came out and wasn't very good, but then came out again and was surprisingly pretty chuffing good. Uh, that's the early reminders here, as well as the obvious, you know, Dark Souls thing. I need to do a video about Dark Souls comparisons at some point. There's a case to be made for them. Uh, but, but anyway, gameplay. The core of Blasphemous, fast, intense, satisfying action combat. Fight and slay creatures, each one bigger, more fearsome than the last. Seems fair enough. Chain encounters at the right pace, you will unlock the Martyr's excommunication mode, becoming almost unstoppable. So, you hit things with the right timing and you, you get powerful. Epic boss battle, oh there's the baby. Epic boss battles await you, enormous and fierce creatures, we've certainly seen that. Look at that! Tore his arm off, he went full alien queen and bishop, that little baby did. So we've got non-sequential level design that puts you in control of where to go next, so you, you just explore in whatever direction you wish. I'm willing to bet some directions are more uh, brutal than others. Uh, great focus on very satisfying combat mechanics, handmade pixel art, Blasphemous' levels are not just platforms, they tell a story to those who are interested, but don't get in the way if you just want the action. So, lore, I guess. This means a lot of lore. Here we are, some nice impressive levels here, some architecture. Find your personal combat style by equipping Rosary Bee. Ah, customization. I do like a bit of customization. So we've got inventory player progression here, your platforms, pretty much everything, including the Switch, which is always nice to see. Story, set in the savage land of Orthodoxia, a place where religion is the utmost importance. Well, I mean, it's called Orthodoxia, and it's a little, a little on the bloody nose. So, the Age of Corruption has happened. The High Pontiff was entirely transformed into a great withered and barren tree and burned for 90 days and the 90 nights. Mm, spooky. Anyway, we won't go reading the whole story. You can read that yourself on your own time. Here's the penitent one. This is why I called the game the penitent one at first, because I was scrolling through this before I started the video and saw this guy and thought, he's cool. If someone were to make me a helmet like that, I would probably wear it a lot. Probably even to the shops. But anyway, the penitent one, the last survivor of a congregation called the Silent Sorrow. The whole group was punished to be thrown to the great abyss of the eternal grief. It's not enough that it's an abyss. It's got to be an abyss of grief. And not even just regular old grief. Grief that goes on for a bloody long time. Okay, you got some enemies here. Acolyte, little uh, skeleton-faced boy there. Flagellant. Oh yeah, he certainly is that. Sister of the Our Lady of the Burnt Face. Okay. Weight of her burden. Oh, that's a cool looking enemy. That's actually quite cool. Like a, I think, like a naked woman crucified to an angel statue that she's using as a weapon. That's some very interesting design. Condemned. Processioner. That also is... Actually, that looks a lot like the, the cages from Dark Souls 3. I think that, that is a very apt comparison. Okay, concept art. Yeah, all oh, really nice art. I really like the art style on this. Procession of flagellants. Look, oh, they got some pointy helmets. Audio, game kitchen, the last door. Yeah. People, status, rewards. So, we'll go through the rewards. I feel like that's something we should do on a Kickstarter video. So, thankful, that's your one dollar. Uh, he just updates the, the usual stuff. Uh, the Penitent, $20. You get a download of the game and a welcome kit, wallpapers, ringtones. The Follower, 25 or more. Uh, you could choose the Follower for PC and the Follower for PS4, Switch, blah, blah, blah. Beta access, digital OST, access to development forums, name in the credits, and as usual, everything included in the other stuff. The Disciple, that's 40 bucks. You get uh, the Disciple, you get... Uh, what else you get? Everything. Everything. Monthly builds and future development prototypes. The Cultist. You get a t-shirt with that one. That seems to be the main thing there. The Adora. Choose the Adora for PC. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, what does that come with? Poster and everything else. Scribe. Book. Got an art book on that. The Tabernacle. Tabernacle. One of my favourite words, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Uh, that's a printed laser cut game scene. Well, that looks very cool. That does look nice. Uh, the Immortal, 
Uh, you get a rare collectible required for a trophy achievement. Oh, so that's an in-game bit of content for 250. The Marta. Uh, that comes with a pixel portrait, custom made, the profit, and that's help designing an in-game item. Okay. And the worshipper, 500 bucks, but it does come with a statue of the pointy-headed barbed wire helmet, stabby, stabby man. And I am a bit of a sucker for game statues. Because hmm. another thing I think I'm going to do is put my money where my mouth is each time I do one of these videos. So if I feature a Kickstarter video, I'll back it at some level. Uh, I haven't decided what that level would be. Uh, I mean, it'll never be the $1 tier, but it'll always be something of some substance. Uh, oh, I shouldn't be going getting statues of games that aren't even out and real yet. But the other thing is the Punisher at a thousand bucks. You can design a boss creature. Plus you get all the physical rewards, everything else. And oh shit, no, sorry about that. 2000 here. Join the development team as we celebrate the launch of the game in Spain. Uh, visit all the mysterious locations, share with you all the meaningful folklore. So you go to Spain for two grand if you want. And here's a closer look at those rewards. Oh, that's nice. The artwork scene, which also does look very nice. Your portrait. Blasphemous comic. Your add-ons. So that's that. That is Blasphemous. Dark and Brutal 2D non-linear platformer. Uh, four days to go on this one. They are well above their goals. They're on their stretch goals now. That's another thing we need to look at. They've reached all this. Bosses only mode, new game plus, I like new game pluses, nightmare mode, render modes, Whitley challenges, extra level designer, simplified Chinese and Japanese online features, seeds, uh, extra game programmer, persistent boss creature, optional fight against special boss that has global persistent difficulty, digital comic, uh, live instruments and soundtrack, and they're going for alternative skins for backers. Then some other stuff. Oh, 300,000 voice acting for NPC and some bosses. Um, I didn't see that before. But if they do... I mean, my rates are cheap. That's all I'm saying. My, my voice acting rates are very cheap. Because I'm not very good. So, there we go. That is Blasphemous. Dark and Brutal 2D non-linear platformer. And hopefully... This will be a, a nice new way to still keep paying forward stuff to the the indie industry and everything. Uh, now that green light good stuff can't be a thing. Maybe. Maybe this was crap. I don't know. But I'll see you later. Bye.